State lawmakers are speaking out about open carry rules at the state capitol yet again. This time their frustration stems from a loophole for concealed pistol holders in the new order. Thank you so much for joining us for Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. This debate has been going on for years but picked up steam in May of 2020 when armed protesters gathered in and outside the capitol building in Lansing to rail against Governor Whitmer's COVID restrictions. It happened again in January. Well, tonight, 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaked shows us why a new debate is brewing and what is likely to happen next. We've confirmed the Michigan Capitol Commission is about to take another look at their policy banning open carry at the state capitol. This comes after a CPL holder was caught with a gun at the capitol and allowed to keep wearing it. I was not aware that there was a loophole. Um, I really hope that the Capitol Commission will address this. She's the state senator who snapped the now infamous image of armed militia members protesting against COVID-19 restrictions with assault rifles within the state capitol. A year later, Democrat Senator Dana Polahanke says she still doesn't feel safe. We're not safe and the kid Kids are returning. The school groups are returning for tours at the Capitol. Our staff is beginning to return. So as long as any type of weapon is welcome in the Michigan Capitol, like concealed carry is, we're not safe. You want to come to the mill and ban open carry, but don't ban uh, uh, concealed carry with a proper permit. No sense of cutting out one part of the Constitution just to placate others. I don't like that at all. Republican state rep Joe Bellino from Monroe also weighing in after a CPL holder recently was allowed to keep his gun on his hip after someone noticed it within the Capitol. While rules ban open carry, Bellino says he does not have a problem with an armed CPL holder in the building. On one side of the aisle, nobody's scared. On the other side of the aisle, they're all going to die tomorrow. So, you know, Depends how you look at it. Currently, opinions differ on whether or not it should be allowed. A spokesperson for the commission says they never intended for anyone to be able to carry openly at this point. A spokesperson for Michigan State Police telling us CPL holders carrying guns openly will remain legal unless otherwise voted on by the commission. Our state police protected us that day, but it was very clear that we did not have enough security to really take on that threat and do something more to protect us. My fear would be that there are lives lost. It's not a concern, but they banned the open carry. It, uh, it's kind of like an olive branch for people that were scared. So far, it's unknown just how soon the Capitol Commission will take this issue back up for discussion. Stay with 7 Action News for the latest developments as they happen. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.